Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel The Red Tech Essentials and today we will study about the various positioning lines and the landmarks of the body which are used during the positioning of the patient to get the adequate radiographic image. Now take a look on the landmarks of the body. So we start with the sternal notch. You can see it here which is also known as the jugular notch or the plantar gap. So it is large visible dip in between the neck and two collarbone you can see it here the two collarbones the clavicles so there is a dip in between the two bones so this dip is known as the sternal notch which is a really important landmark of the body so our next landmark is the zygphoid process so the zygphoid process is the cartilaginous section at the lower end of the sternum which is not attached to any rib so our next landmark is the iliac crest or the crest of ilium is the superior border of the wing of the ilium and the superior lateral margin of the greater pelvis. So our next landmark is the umbilicus. So it is sometimes hollow or sometimes raised area of the abdomen. At, it is the attachment side of the umbilical cord. So it's really easy to remember it is the really easy to remember you know the landmark the umbilicus so our last landmark is the pubic symphysis it is a secondary cartilaginous joint or a joint made of hyaline cartilage and fibrocartilage it is located between the right and left pubic bone near the midline of the body more specifically it is located above an external genitalia and in front of the bladder so now look at the landmarks of the skull so there are few landmarks in the skull you can see it here the first landmark is the outer canthus of eye where the upper and lower eyelid meet laterally you can see it here the outer canthus of eye so next is the infraorbital point you can see it here the infraorbital margin is the lowest point on the inferior orbital margin our next landmark is the nasal or the frontonasal articulation so you can see it here in between the eyes and next the above the nasal you can see the glabella it is the bony prominence you can see it here just above the nasal so our next landmark is the vertex the highest point of the skull in the mid sagittal plane you can see it here the gonion or the angle of the mandible this is also if we can say it this is also a landmark our next landmark uh, is the external occipital protuberance which is known as the inion or a bony prominence on the occipital bone so these were the landmarks of the skull now take a look on the various positioning lines of the skull so first take a look on these lines then i'll explain it one by one so our first line is the GML or the glabellometer line. Our next line is the OML and then IOML, AML and so on. So the first line is the GML or the glabellometer line. It is an imaginary line that extends from the glabella to the center of external auditory meters. So you can see it here, the center of external auditory meters or the external acoustic meters so the line which passes through the glabella to the external auditory meters so this line is known as the GML or the glabellometer line our next line is the OML it is the orbitometer line it passes through the outer canthus of eye and the center of external auditory meters our next line is the infraorbital meter line so this line is the imaginary line which is drawn between the infraorbital margin and the external auditory meters. So the lips meter line is the you can see it here the line which is drawn between the lips to the external auditory meters and our next line is the echendometer line. So 
this is an imaginary line which drawn between the acanthian and the external auditory meatus so you can see it here the acanthian uh, below the tip of the nose uh, you can see it here so our last but not the least so this one is known as the mental meter line so it extends from the mental point of the mandible to the external auditory meters so in this image you can see these positioning lines clearly so you can see it here the external acoustic meters clearly or the ear pinna you can see it here the external acoustic meters and uh, you can see it here the imaginary line which divides the skull into two halves or the right or left half is known as the mid sagittal plane or the medial line so you can see it, uh, the line in the these lines in the anterior posterior or the lateral positions so the first is the gml the oml and the infraorbitometer line and the acanthometer line and last the mentometer line so these were the various imaginary or the positioning lines of the skull so friends don't forget to subscribe my channel like my video and for the latest update press the bell icon thank you